Russian invasion forces continue their offensive on Bakhmut city in eastern Donetsk region, Eastern Military Command spokesman Sergei Chirivati said on Monday. Chirivati noted that by attempting to besiege and invade Bakhmut, Russia seeks to demonstrate its success in the front line. He added that Russia has been losing from 50 to 100 soldiers each day in battles for Bakhmut, while as many Russian soldiers get injured near the city daily. The brutal attacks on Bakhmut involves a Russian state-backed military company Wagner Group that has been using units of prisoners in its offensive on Ukraine. According to Ukrainian sources, 138 members of Wagner Group were killed within a single night in November. Located on the main road connecting Kramatorsk and Slavyansk cities in Donetsk region, Bakhmut has become the center of the battle in eastern Ukraine since August. Russia has insisted on capturing the city despite its stalled progress. Meanwhile, explosions hit two Russian military airfields far from the conflict zone today. Five people have been killed in explosions in the airfields in Russia's Ryazan and Saratov regions. The cause of the explosion is unknown. It's not worth it that long-range Russian strategic bombers are believed to be based at the airspace in the Saratov region.